Swastika Jagarnath is a writer and author of the published book A Father's Daughter. This book is both a journey through grief and the healing of the soul. By adopting an intimate and familiar style of writing, the author uncovers the painful reality behind the loss of a loved one. Nothing could have prepared her for the sudden loss of her father due to the COVID-19 pandemic. By sharing her experience as well as her childhood memories, the author takes the reader by the hand and shows how grief is often followed by regret and anger, especially when facing the loss of someone we consider special and irreplaceable. Today, we have the great pleasure to have a chat with the author herself, Swastika, who's right now connected with us. Welcome to Conoscere TV, Swastika. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. So let's start by introducing the book. We already said something about it, but please, what is Father's Daughter about? So I think it's a journey um, through the grief that I experienced when I lost my dad. Um, I never intended to publish a book. Uh, I, I decided to write because it was a healing outlet for myself. I was not someone that was comfortable to speak to to, to friends or family or colleagues about the loss of my dad. It was something very intimate. And I decided to write a journal to myself to keep those memories alive. Um, it was only much later that I realized that I could actually share this with the world because grief is such a painful emotional to go through. Um, and, and I think once you've managed to handle it and deal with it, I don't think it's ever over. But once you do get through that process and you're able to handle it better, um, it does make life a little easier. And I wanted to share that experience. So that is what the book summarizes. It takes you through that journey of all of those, those moments of pain um, and a separation physically from my, my late dad. Uh, and then what were the next steps after that process? So we can also say that the book is not only about grief and pain. What are the other main themes that you uh, talk about in this book? So, Jen, I think there's about five themes that come across when I had uh, reflected on the book much later. Um, one of them being grief. It's one of the key themes and, and um, the foundation of the book. But there's a few others. Um, so the second one would be emotional agility. And I learned about this concept only when I had gone through through this pain of grief. And emotional agility touches on how we deal with our emotions um, and, and how we handle the different types of emotions. And it's not that grief or sadness is a negative one because we start to perceive that way and position it that way as we grow up. And it's not necessarily true. We need to learn to be real with all of our emotions. And I learned that going through this experience. Um, the third one, I would think it's about female empowerment. And that comes across quite strongly. Uh, my dad instilled a lot of values and life lessons um, throughout our, our time together and throughout his lifetime. And I've shared a lot of that and how that comes through as a golden thread as one of the key themes. So uh, definitely a female audience targeting this book. Um, the fourth theme would be about childhood development because I am a mom myself of two kids. And I think when I started to go through all of these experiences and question my experiences, I also started to think about my kids and how I was preparing my children um, for emotions, for grief, for the world at large. So childhood development is also another key theme. And I think the last one would be about conscious living, being mindful, being present in this day and age about your purpose on earth. And I think when death knocks on a door, um, that is the only time you really stop to think but what is really important in life. And this conscious, mindful living makes us question, what are we really doing here? What do we do with our lives and how do we lead it to be better people? So when we write a book, when we start writing a book, we always think about ourselves many times. We think about our needs, our pain, our grief in this case. But when it comes to publish a book, that's a book for the reader, other people, different by you with a different story. So what could readers learn, take away in your opinion, in your hope from this reading? So I think 
when I wrote, I wrote for myself as a journal, and then I later edited it so that it could be shared with the world. But the reader will be able to transcend the pain endured during the grief process. The reader will definitely be able to pick up at least one of these key five themes. Um, that would be one of the benefits for the reader. Either someone that's experiencing grief right now, um, it, not necessarily your dad, but grief in general. Um, someone that's um, wanting to question their life's purpose. Um, someone that's looking for more value. Someone that's a parent would be able to pick up from this book. So there's, there's a couple of audiences, uh, uh, multiple different readers that, that could pick up little nuggets of authentic, true stories being told. Um, and, and they could relate to that. And it could help them improve their own lifestyles mm -hmm. and their way of perceiving things and doing things. So there's a wide audience, I would say, um, of readers that could definitely learn something from the book. Um, aside from the book itself, I've also introduced a Facebook page so that um, if someone wanted to interact beyond just the book, uh, we do offer sort of a mentorship program. So someone that may be experiencing grief or wants to touch on something, whether it's the book or the content on the page itself, um, they would definitely benefit from joining the group. That's a great idea. So just to conclude this chat about the book, then we'll lead the readers to, to the reading, to the actual reading. Uh, what do you want to say to to your readers? What is the message um, for those readers who may be in a, in a difficult moment? I think for me, the biggest lesson that I learned through all of this was that my grief equated to the love that I shared for my dad. And, and that grieving process became something beautiful at the end because I learned to live with memories, although he was physically not there. I learned through writing and through a lot of reading myself um, on how we can learn to live with grief. So that key message for the readers would be, there's always help available um, if you reach out for it. And I think that's, that's, that's the red light here. If someone's in need of help, you have to make that initiative to reach out for help. And it's not always with close family and friends or colleagues. It could be with a total stranger. I've seen that through my Facebook group. I've seen that through launching the book. We have had total strangers reach out and we could relate through our pain and through our grief and experiences on the same level. And we could be in totally different opposite side of the continents. Uh, but this one experience brings us together. So please, if you needed to reach out, please reach out to someone. It may not be me, it could be anyone, but please reach out. That would be the, the key message. Grief is really something emotional and painful. It could even be traumatizing uh, for life, uh, but it can be handled. It can be dealt with. It can become a part of your life that is healthy um, and there can be a green light at the end of it all. Thank you for sharing such a positive message um, and your story in this book, of course. So thank you for your time and best luck with the book. Thank you. Thank you so much. A Father's Daughter, written by Swastika Jagarnath, is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobooks.